Hello everyone, this is a video breakdown on Roy Jones vs. Griffin 2 after Roy Jones lost his WBC title, light heavyweight title, to Montel Griffin in a disqualification loss, putting the first one on his record and Montel being an undefeated fighter would go on and carry on and say that he beat Roy Jones fairly on his own credit. So without further introduction, without further introduction share, subscribe, and comment below and let's get to the fight. Roy Jones out for Royal have none of it. He takes a short step forward and lands a hook straight from the door. Roy has come out to battle. In this next clip, I want you to pay attention. Roy Jones is playing a game of inches. Roy is going to step forward, shoot a fake jab on that same hand once he gets behind Griffin's guard. He's going to shoot his left hook. Watch Griffin as he gets up and take note as he asks the referee was he hit by a car. The referee does the standard eight count and Griffin gets ready to proceed into the round. We're still in the first round, by the way. Jones is coming out stronger this time. We didn't see that this from him for many rounds in the first fight. Did anyone catch that? The pimp slap from hell almost happened again, but Griffin was at a slightly different angle this time, so he didn't go to sleep right here. Lucky him. Now let's move on. In the following clip, Roy faints Griffin with a jab, and Griffin exposes the side of his head. Volunteers the side of his head, one should say. Roy shoots a straight right, like it's a jab to come behind it, just to get close to Griffin, that way he can knock his block off. So he set himself up to land the lead left hook. This is the exact same position he was in the last time. So he hits him with the left hook, but it's not enough uh, power behind it this time. Maybe he needs to sit down on it. Roy is trying to counter over his jab with the hook and land this hook no matter what Griffin does, which he gets caught right here. Because he's over anxious, he's mad, he's rushing in, but he's still throwing some heavy shots. Griffin needs to do something. He won't last like this. Roy faints him. Look at this faint. Look at his arms. Look at his hand positioning. All in the wrong spot for these faints. Roy misses that time, but his hand positioning sucks. He needs to pick up that phone and hold it tightly against his face because at this rate, he's going to get caught by something. His hands is just... Okay, we're going to move on. Look at Roy Jones' lead arm. Look at that posture as he wags it. This is what he uses to lull people to sleep. That way you can lose track of his lead arm. And he's just wagging it. The only reason why he stopped the first time is because Griffin jumped in and broke his rhythm. And if you don't break Roy Jones' rhythm and let him able to sit there and calculate and come up with plans, you're going to have a long night. And that's exactly what, well, not Griffin, but you could have a long night. Remember that situation position that we talked about earlier today? Look at it, right here. Wow, Griffin gets caught. Stuns. He went so stiff for a second, now Roy begins to bomb him with attacks. It's the hand positioning and his reaction to the hand position. Roy just fainted him. Once again, look at that lead armor boy, Wagon. He throws the law of his opponent to sleep, getting him used to seeing it. He throws the jab, doesn't bring his hand back to protect his face. Then Roy goes down into position. Griffin tries to block it with the same hand he just put on his face, reaching for stuff. You should never reach for stuff because something may come back, and that's exactly what happened in this situation. Roy took flight on him. And that's the end of the breakdown. on the canvas could have rolled it a knockdown on the basis of the ring ropes holding Griffin up too end the fight here there is that leaping left uppercut now you don't. might not be able to find it all right let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the ladies and gentlemen referee Arthur Mercani calls a halt to the bow at two minutes and 31 seconds of round number one following knockdown number two the winner now in the end until the end i gotta go 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 youtubers if you like my content hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe that way i keep on bringing you more content have a nice night.